Hey everyone, Kevin in Texas coming at you on this very warm day. Hopefully you're doing very well, whenever, wherever you're at. Today I'm going to talk about the 1990 film, King of New York. This film, which was directed by Abel Ferrara and written by Nicholas St. John, is an interesting look at the life and times of New York City drug lord Frank White who is ably portrayed by the very famous Christopher Walken. In addition to Mr. Walken, King of New York also features several up-and-coming stars, at least at the time, including a young David Caruso, a young Wesley Snipes, and Steve Buscemi. Other actors of note include Lawrence Fishburne as the -the over-the-top but fan-favorite Jimmy Jump, Victor Argo, and Janet Julian. Now, King of New York, of course, based in New York City, detailing the life and times of drug lord Frank White, who at the beginning of the film is freshly released from Sing Sing Prison, and upon his release, seeks to go out and rebuild his drug empire. The film is interesting in numerous ways primarily because it seems to be, at least stylistically, a mishmash of several different genres. King of New York seems to be influenced in part by some of the old Godfather movies, and you can feel that kind of tone throughout much of the film. Interestingly enough, we also see a pretty heavy influence of the traditional police officer or detective movie, where there's some sort of protagonist cop who is trying to arrest or take down the antagonist crime lord. Additionally, there's a good chunk of this movie which almost seems to be a parody of the aforementioned mob, drug boss, and cop movies. Some of the performances are very much over the top and harken back to the days of the black exploitation films as well. Finally, it's important to note that King of New York, stylistically, it's a forerunner of the 90s gangsta films that became popular not only in the U.S., but also throughout the world, most notably New Jack City. Uh, Not only does King of New York and New Jack City feature the same actor, Wesley Snipes, but stylistically, you can see where New Jack City takes some of its vibe directly from King of New York. So if you liked New Jack City or you liked the 90s gangsta film genre, I absolutely recommend taking a look at King of New York. Now, having said that, the strongest point of this film comes with its individual performances. Christopher Walken as Frank White, undoubtedly the best performer in the entire movie. With Christopher Walken, you're traditionally getting some sort of off-kelter type of performance. You're looking at a character who is just a little bit off from the norm. And Frank White is no exception to this. Here we have a career criminal, a drug lord, a crime lord in New York City. But Mr. White also has an idealistic side, and we see this feature throughout the film, where he is trying to help citizens of the community who are less fortunate than he is. We also see an unflinching loyalty from Frank White to his associates, to his underlings. And this is very interesting as well, because it provides a depth to the main antagonist, some would say protagonist, that we normally don't see in crime films. Other notable and wonderful portrayals include Lawrence Fishburne as the -the over-the-top gangsta Jimmy Jump, Wesley Snipes and David Caruso as the hot-headed police officers, and Victor Argo portraying Detective Roy Bishop, who turns the case against Frank White into a personal vendetta. And of course, part of the allure of the film is seeing how that vendetta affects all people involved. Now, as with other crime, drug, gangster films, if you don't like language, if you don't like sex scenes, if you don't like violence and drug use, 
you need to stay away from this film because there's plenty of all of those included in this movie. Having said that, I would grade King of New York at four out of five stars. If you like gangsta films, if you like mob films, cop films, crime films, you're probably going to enjoy King of New York. Also, if you like the 90s style gangsta films, this is a one to watch because it really sets the ball in motion for that entire genre. And last but not least, the individual performances by Christopher Walken and really the entire cast make this a movie you definitely need to see. This is Kevin in Texas wishing you well, saying God bless each and every one of you.